So I've been promising to uh, do a couple of uh, Unity tutorials on YouTube for a while, so ironically my first one is going to be quite an advanced one. Okay, so this is all about how to use Futile as a UI overlay in an existing 3D game. Now I came across uh, Futile when looking up at uh, NimbleQuest and discovered that they transitioned to using Unity, and not only that, but they were using a third-party uh, 2D system called Futile. I'd never heard of that before, so I decided to take a look at it. What I discovered was quite good. It's a 2D system that is roughly based around the way you code in Flash, which I used to do back in the day. So I looked at what it did, and it seems to be quite good, so I decided, well, I could use this. I've been looking for a 2D system to be using in CyberStream Fugitive for absolutely ages now, and I even rolled my own, which is okay, but it requires a lot of code, and I need to get this game out, so I need to use existing stuff. But since Futile is, desi is designed to be used as a complete system, not just as a user UI overlay, I needed to make some modifications in order to get to work well with CyberStream Fugitive, and this will happen to you no matter what kind of game you're doing, if you want to use it as UI. Okay, so these are the changes you need to make to Futile to get it to work. The first one is to follow the tutorial um, Matt's done that shows you how to use Futile. None of that changes, okay? That's all the same. But we just need to make some changes to where Futile actually lives and um, some of its code, okay? So the first one is I've created the Futile object the way he describes. In fact, there's a Futile script and there's a UI script, which my UI script doesn't look any different. Just creates the params. What I did do a little bit different is uh, in the resolution level I set it to the current screen width um, that's never really going to change hopefully while you're playing the game that may come and bite me in the ass later on I don't know but I'll find out as I go along anyway and everything else is the same load an atlas load a font create a label add child so nothing there is different okay so what are the differences so the first one like I said is the futile object now exists on its own layer so if I go to edit layers I'll show you the layers okay so I created a layer at number 11 called Futile, and that's the um, Futile object plus the camera to exist on, so it has its own layer, okay? On the Futile object itself, I set its layer to Futile, okay? So the camera, the object, everything that Futile creates is going to be on that layer now. However, there has to be some changes in the code to let it know this. The first one is in Futile.cs, which you can find in the plugin directory. There, I had to set the camera culling mask to cull everything other than the futile layer. So I only want it rendering that layer. I only want it rendering that layer, okay? And that's what this does. The other thing we want to do is that futile used to um, clear to the solid color, which is pretty bad because it means you, you won't see anything below it. So I commented that layer out. So this is the one you have to comment out. This says solid color. And, in, and instead, uncomment the one that says depth. It used to say, use this for testing speed. Well, we actually only want depth now because we want to see what's underneath this layer. So that has to happen in futile.cs. And the last change is actually in renderlayer.cs, which you'll find in the plugin directory as well. You have to tell the game object it creates, which is this one here, that it exists on layer 11. And so far, that's all the changes I've seen that need to be made. And it seems to work. So if I run the game now, there you go. Futile working as a UI overlay on 3D World. It seems to work well. I've yet to test it on different platforms. I've yet to test it on different resolutions to see if there are any implications and then the changes. But for the time being, it seems to work. So to recap, Futile has to exist on its own layer, which we've done here. You have to tell Futile.cs to give um, a culling mask to tell it to only render to that layer and only to only clear that layer. Okay. You have to set depth as a clear flag, and you have to tell the object it creates for the rendering that it exists on layer 11. And that should be it. Any questions or any, any observations, then let me know, okay? Because I'm still working at this as well. Have fun.